as always, for stopping by and watching another real-time edit. Today I have the Song Sparrow on a really foggy morning with this really cool spider web just covered in dew back there. So, a um, little bit of a weird composition on this one. Like, I don't know where really to go with it. I don't want to clip that. Um, but because of this bar here, having a lot of space on this side doesn't make a ton of sense. So maybe I'll just go a little bit tighter than I normally would. Just kind of leave it somewhat centered, the bird, but yeah, maybe, I don't know. That feels pretty good. Yeah, I like that. Um, well, let me just give a little bit more space on that nub up there. All right, there we go, cool. Um, shadows up, I wanna get a little bit more detail in the eye there so I can really crank the contrast back on the blacks. Um, just to make that stand out, I'm gonna Drop the graduated filter on the bottom here, really pull the highlights down, and just darken the whole thing. I went a little bit too far, so we're going to also soften up that transition. Um, Color-wise, pretty good. I'll just shift the white balance a little bit cooler, a little bit more green, and then pop the highlights a little bit. Actually, I like the white balance where it was, uh, so I'm going to go back to the original white balance. And I think that's about it here. Uh, the rest of the work I think is going to need to take place in Photoshop for just a couple more things I want to do. Um, I don't like that this spider web on the left here is just kind of not connected to anything. It's just hanging out into space. So I'm going to get rid of that one because I don't have the other part that it's connected to. And this particular piece isn't really that uh, pretty or adding much to the photo. So cleaning that up is nice. Uh, this one totally works. Uh, this one little piece of bark sticking out there doesn't add anything helpful just kind of distracts because it was right next to the song sparrow little feather sticking out the butt we'll clean that up <laughs> um i think that's it for cleanup so nothing major there um gonna definitely add some contrast on the bird itself so i don't want to contrast up the entire image but i do like making the bird have a little bit more contrast because I think that will help the bird stand out a little bit more. There you go, we'll just paint that in. And then as always, I'm gonna certainly accentuate the catch light in this, which on a foggy day like this, real big soft catch light, right? So I don't wanna go crazy with it, but something like that, see? Really makes that stand out. So watch, before, after, before, after. You really put some pop into that um, eye. Let's see if there's any way to make this spider web stand out more. I guess go darker with the background and then add a little contrast on the curve there. Uh, let me see what that looks like when I paint it in there. I'm not sure I'm gonna love it. Uh, I guess I should paint with white to make it actually happen here. And I do wanna hit most of or almost the entire background with that so it all stays kind of evenly matched in tone. So that's good. And let, let's see. Yeah, it definitely does help it stand out a little bit more. So I like that. And then I certainly want to just darken all of these logs and the branch or the log that it's perched on here. Oh, I also just saw that out of focus spider web there I want to get rid of. Didn't notice that before. Uh, always make sure you don't add a reverse halo, like especially if you're darkening like this, right? So I don't want to overlap into the background and get something like that. So when I'm using these big soft brushes, I'll, I'll always come back with a smaller brush and paint with black right along that edge just to make sure I'm not bleeding out into the uh, white background there. Uh, so back to the clone layer, I'm just gonna kind of softly clone out that um, spider web that was out of focus there. And then I don't know, I'm also seeing like a weird green tone right there. So I'm just going to add a, a blank layer, color layer here. So using the color blending mode, sample that color over there where it looks a little bit more clean. And then I'll paint that in over this area that's looking a little weirdly green. And I'm, start, I'm starting to see some of that green over here too. So just sample the existing background color and kind of paint that in overall to just try and clean that up a little bit. That should do the trick. And yeah, there we go. Pretty happy with that. So again, not a, nothing crazy here, no major editing. Um, just a little bit of dodging burning in some places. Uh, I see one last spider web that's kind of grabbing my attention that's not adding to the photo, so I'll clean that up. And then we'll go ahead and save it. Um, 
and I'll compare it to the original image in Lightroom for you. Just one second. All right, here we go. So there's the total original. Original above, final image below, or original on the left in this case. Uh, so you can see definitely this image is popping a little bit more. Spiderweb definitely stands out more. And it goes from kind of a little bit dull and flat to uh, just a little bit cleaner. And then we get rid of that log and that branch on the top right. Help to clean it up. Uh, so thanks so much for watching. If you're looking to learn a little bit more about how I do all these edits, uh, you can sign up for one of my remote training sessions. So rayhennessy.com under the workshops, you can go to the online workshops and here's info on the remote training sessions. Uh, we can do this from anywhere. We use Skype and uh, I can help you out and show you exactly what I'm doing here as well as answer any questions you may have. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.